Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines favorite and most hated son. I am the diaspora, which is more. My people, it was another beautiful day for protest. I came much, much, much earlier to the protest today. That is how much I am enjoying this thing. And I had a wonderful day um, imparting my opinion on the public. Now, there was nothing particularly important that I should report to you today. But um, I got a true picture of the devastation that have hit Union Island from looking at Jenny Kittel's um, video on YouTube. Jenny is my very good friend. Um, and when I look at Jenny's video this morning, I saw the devastation of Union Island. My people, what is, what is so terrible is the people of St. Martins. Not just the people, the government and people of St. Martins have adopted Jamaica as their project to help recover after the destruction that hit Jamaica. The Premier of St. Martins make a trip to Jamaica to evaluate the damage in Jamaica for herself. And on that trip she walked with 200,000 US dollars and handed it over to the Jamaican government. And now that she has seen the extent of the damage that have hit Jamaica, she have vowed to the Jamaican people and government that on her return, she is going to be instrumental in raising monies to help Jamaica recover. My people, Hurricane Beryl also hit the Cayman Islands hard. But the Cayman, the Cayman Islands are sufficient unto themselves. Most of the properties in the Cayman Islands are insured. The government of the Cayman Islands are able to take care of business where the destruction of burial is concerned. The next country in the, in, the, in the hurricane belt that was hit very hard was Grenada. And Guyana have already adopted Grenada where the recovery effort of Grenada is concerned. Guyana have already sent a logistical team from the Guyanese army to assess the damage of Grenada to determine what will be needed in the recovery of Grenada. My people, the next place that was hit was St. Vincent and the Grenadines, particularly the Grenadines. Canawan, Union Islands, and my room. My people, nobody has seen it fit to come to the aid of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Why is that? It's because our Prime Minister has developed such a bad reputation within the region and internationally that nobody won't have anything to do with St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the Ralph Consal's administration. Not even Trinidad is pledging to send $100 to help St. Vincent in the recovery process. Not even Barbados is pledging to send $100 in the recovery process of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mind you, Barbados has been making money where tourism is concerned from St. Vincent, especially the Grenadines, because they, adver they advertise Barbados in the international world as Barbados and the Grenadines. And when people come to Barbados or go to Barbados and expecting to enjoy the luxury and the beauty of the Grenadines, Barbados ensure that those tourists get the opportunity to go to the Grenadines. Yet, 
Barbados is not even set fit to lend a penny to St. Vincent in the recovery process. That is because our Prime Minister has developed such a terrible reputation around the world that nobody cares to associate with him. Nobody cares to do business with him. If it is not coming from the United Nations, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is not going to get any help where Beryl is concerned. The small islands of Union Island, Kanawan and Mairo are in dire need of help. Not so much the mainland, but those small islands in the Grenadines are in need of help. But nobody is willing to help. My people, from what I saw in Jenny Kittel's video, and from when I visit Union Islands many years ago, I get the impression that Union Island was not properly planned. It was one of those islands where people went to acquire land and build on land that they have acquired. There is no proper road system. Listen to the word I'm using. There is no proper road system in Union Island. From the devastation that I see, it will be a foolish thing to allow people to go back to Union Islands and build in the same haphazard manner that they, that they started with. This is a good opportunity for planning to go into Union Islands and really plan that place and put in good infrastructure in that place, road system where people can get to different parts on the island very easily. It would, not be, it would not make sense for you to just allow these people to go back there and build as they built in the past. This is an opportunity for the government to put in some good road system in Union Island. And if the road system would have put some people out of a place to live, a lot of them crown lands where they can now go, build their homes, where road will be leading to their homes and proper businesses can be established and set up. And you know, bring Union Island into the 21st century. There are many places in St. Vincent and the Grenadines like Utley Hall and Diamonds where major squatting have come about that are not properly planned. There's no proper road system in those areas, right? But because of the devastation that was happened as a result of burial, this is an opportunity for the government to send in their planning division to ensure that roads are placed in areas and those areas where roads are proper roading a place, right? that would have inconvenienced a person in their homes. They allot them lands and help them to rebuild. My people, it would be a waste of time to do anything else with Union Islands. Union Islands have a lot of potential to be a nice small city into itself. And this is the opportunity where the government shall go in and plan Union Island properly. Allot the lands to people who are displaced based on the planning. Give them crown land to live on in Union Island so that no one will be displaced. My people are part of the devastation that was caused by Hurricane Beryl in Union Islands is because of the lack of planning. Road infrastructure and zoning on that island. My name is Tree Strongblood. I am St. Vincent and the Grenadines, favorite the motivated son, the diaspora machismo. My people, I know, <laughs> the government even can't afford to help the people rebuild their houses. Must also go and do this big elaborate thing to make Union Island into what you call a 20th century city. Alan Palmer, talk to you soon.